Hey guys, I've got some exciting news. Just six days ago, I put out an update and I said that I'm gonna be treating the living room, the home theater with acoustic treatment panels on the wall and it was gonna take several weeks. Look what showed up today, literally six days after I ordered. Absolutely fantastic service. This is from a company called AcousticMac.com and they are out of Tampa which definitely helped with the shipping time. It was only 37 bucks to ship it. I wasn't exactly sure how big the box was gonna be, and I just didn't want to chance it not fitting in my car. It would have, but that's okay. So I've got three four foot by two foot by two inch panels in this box. Now, before I go through the install, I really wanted to capture a before and after. Not only so you guys can hear what the effects of the panels are in the room, but just for my peace of mind, and so I can go back and actually tell exactly what they did. I, of course, will give you my subjective thoughts on it, but that doesn't really do it justice. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> in order to physically record the room, the room effects of the speakers, I need a binaural microphone array, a high quality one. I don't have one. I have tested, I don't know, 20 different camera body, recording devices, microphone combinations that I have here. Everything from lavalier mics to my professional mics to in-camera, uh, nothing really worked perfectly. I've got one that's gonna be close enough which should let us hear the differences that the room is having with and without the treatment. But it is in no means an accurate representation of exactly what the sound sounds like. I've gone through hours of testing. Uh, this first one here, this was the GoPro. And See, the problem is we need a combination of things. We need, number one, an omnidirectional mic. I need the mic to pick up everything around in the room because we're not only recording what's coming out of the speakers, we need to record all the reflections off the walls, ceiling, floor, etc. So the mic has to be omnidirectional. And the GoPro fits that bill, however, it is highly compressed it normalizes all the sound. Absolutely useless, no good whatsoever. I tried my Panasonic cameras. Uh, this clip here is the iPhone. The iPhone had the problem of compressing a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but very directional mics. When you're filming, like I am right now, on the iPhone, it's using different mics depending on if you're shooting the back camera or the front camera and it's neither one is real accurate so that was out uh the in-camera panasonic body oh my god i mean the gh3 4 and 5 mics may as well not be there they're absolute garbage in all regards <sighs> um i tried my external mics my road video my pros record very well. I mean, great range and all that. However, very directional. It was great at capturing what's coming out of the speakers. So if I was trying to show the differences between speakers, that would be a good candidate. However, it doesn't pick up the room, the room reflections. And that's what we're after today. Long story short, I found the best possible recording device to be my old Canon 7D using the in-camera mics I was able to turn the compression off, set the manual record levels to just below clipping. It doesn't have the full range, so it doesn't sound like it does when you're sitting in there. The highs and the extreme lows aren't there, but the dynamics are there. And more importantly, it's an omnidirectional pickup and it is going to pick up the room effects fairly well. So even though it doesn't sound like you're sitting in the room, it should be able to show us the differences before and after comparing the clips. So I've got a reference clip here. It's a combination of clear dialogue, dynamic action, and a little bit of a combination there. It's just a snippet from Avengers. And I still have to upload this really quick to YouTube just to make sure it's not gonna ding me for copyright. I'm not sure if it's 
I've got it obviously blacked out, so I don't think it's going to pick up the video, but I don't know what it's going to do with the audio. But you can hear the snippet here. This is before. Okay. So it is a really nice before that should work. Anyway, let's get this installed. So this is what we're working with. Now this picture is uh, two and a half feet tall. The new panels are four feet. I think I'm gonna start the bottom right about level with where these plants are right here. That's about a foot off the table. And that will take it up to about here on the wall. I'm less concerned with the blank space up top than I am down below because when you're sitting in the couch, your ears are sensitive to what's bouncing right behind them. And I want some panel down there. Now you don't want the wall completely dead. You would never want to completely cover it in acoustic panels. You need a mix. You need a mix of direct and reflecting sound. So, but what I don't want is to start the panels here, which would actually evenly space them. If I were to start it right at the bottom of the picture and go up four feet, I would have even space above and below. So, well, that would look pretty good. It wouldn't give us the functionality of the panels. So I think just leaving a little bit of space here will look just fine, but most importantly, work. So let's see what's in the box. Looks like we have some mounting brackets and I'm assuming fasteners and whatnot for those. And then let's see the wood panels. These are the backs, they're quite heavy. Come on, how's oh, it all together? Yeah, I think I gotta take it all out as a unit. It's all wrapped up. So there she is, plastic wrap still on it. It's gonna look a lot better once I get it all mounted. Just had to figure out uh, which way it went. <laughs> and I need to make an aesthetic decision of how far apart to space them to make it a triptych. I'm thinking at least a few inches. Maybe not quite that far. That looks pretty good. You want it to give it the effect, but you don't want it to break it looking like a single unit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So a couple inches will look just fine. Okay, now inside the package is just a whole bunch of screws like sheet metal screws and these are z-bars these are just super easy you mount one side on the art and one side on the wall and they just slide together so it's a real nice tight fit on the wall like that super easy and these aren't so heavy that they need anchors or need to be in a stud each panel i'm gonna say is about 10 pounds, somewhere right around there. So it's not bad. Now I just need to measure correctly. They're full wood back so I can mount the Z-bars anywhere to the units. And let's see how thick this is. Oh, it's real tight. So they've got the acoustic printed material wrapped around just like a gallery print and it's just stapled in the back. The cool thing is the company offers tons and tons of do-it-yourself materials. So if you ever want to make your own, or if you want to recover some that you have, they sell the material, any of the solid colors, they just sell it by the yard. And all it takes is a power stapler. So, you know, this is super easy to do yourself. It just takes a few minutes to pull the staples out and putting on a new panel. Or if you ever want new art, you just order new printed fabric and that's it, super cheap. So that's really cool. Okay, let's get it on the wall, see what happens. Okay, I've marked my center line. I'm going centered between the speakers to mount everything. I'm gonna go with three inches in between for a total spread of six and a half feet. And I'll tell you what, get yourself one of these laser lever levelers if you're doing any kind of multiple hangings. Uh, the, the wall is uh, bowed out a little bit, it's got a high point right here starts to fade as it goes down a little bit but 
it's gonna work just fine. I've got it level at the light. Now what I'm gonna do is actually measure from the laser up to the ceiling, because I want to get that spacing looking right. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be very far off. Our last house was really off. Every freaking wall was bad. <laughs> but this one looks pretty darn good, but I'll measure just to be sure. And uh, the cool thing about the Z clips are they're not one spot. So if I want it four inches apart, if I want them two inches apart, they slide several inches, no problem. So we're gonna start with the center one and I'm gonna put the screws right in line on the laser and that way everything just stays exactly where it needs to be. And this just goes on the wall with a 3M command strip, just like um, the pictures and stuff I've got around the house. Super easy, no mar, no mess. One bracket in, super easy. I'll measure out, do the other two, and then get the corresponding brackets on the pictures, and that'll be that. Oh, I've got some felt bumpers too for the bottom corners, just to stop any kind of vibration. Three brackets up, one on the art, time to hang it. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I literally just hung it on the wall as I'm carrying it over and setting it up. You know, I had it next to my head. It's like a sound suck. It is so weird not having any sound come from one side of your head. It, it works. I mean, I'm purposely keeping my expectations low for the effect, but if it works as well as it does right, oh, this is just weird. It's like I'm talking into nothing. Getting this close, I can't even hear the air conditioner out of my right ear right now. It just sucks up all sound. Very strange. All right, last two. That came out awesome. <laughs> Remember when I said you can slide them around to taste? Well, it's a good thing you can because I adjusted very much by taste. Three inches was way too close ended up just about nine apart. Oh man, that looks awesome. I mean, not just as regular art. I'm glad it does, obviously, because it took a long time for the wife and I to agree on this print, but it came out great. But, oh my God, I'm excited to try this now. So here's the really weird part that I had no idea was gonna happen. The room itself, is very quiet, noticeably quiet. I can talk right now and I'm hearing my echo down the hallway. I am hearing absolutely nothing behind me. Before, when I did the video the other day and I talked in the room here and I said, the, you know, echo, 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 my voice was coming from everywhere. It was just in the room. Not so at all on this side of the room. When you're here by the couch, now the effect greatly diminishes, test, test, check, right about here. So two thirds of the way into the room from the wall, the effect is very minor. But over here by the couch, it's like I just walked into a room with full carpet. That dampened sound is exactly what this is giving. I am amazed that these relatively small surface area panels are making this much of a difference. I can only imagine what fully treating a whole room would do. And honestly, now I'm really contemplating it. I'm excited for the wife to come home and just hear the difference because she I know she's immediately gonna hear how echoey the other parts of the house are. And I think she's gonna like this. She was totally against doing this. Like I said, you know, this is my project. She wanted no part of it. She wanted better art up, but she didn't want to pay for, you know, almost 800 bucks worth of acoustic panels. She thought it was just completely unnecessary. Well, I think now she's going to hear exactly why it is necessary, not just for better home theater, but a much more comfortable home. Okay, so now is the test. Uh, I'm going to do some listening here real quick. Curious as to what it sounds like down here. I'm really curious as to... Test, test, check, check, check. There is a little bit more echo to my voice from behind right here. That's kind of what I was afraid of. 
but mounting them lower than this would look like absolute crap on the wall. Probably could have got six foot tall panels. I don't even know if they were available. Anyway, um, I guess I can always reposition if absolutely necessary, but there's definitely a difference sitting down here in my head and standing up actually next to them. It's noticeable. It's not like day and night. It's not like they're not there, but it is noticeable. So I'm gonna give you a subjective, what I think about the sound, and then I'm also gonna show you the before and after test clips. So hopefully we can hear something. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm really happy. Okay, so I kept my expectations low. It definitely exceeded my expectations. Is it super dramatic? Did it change the sound of the speakers? Did it make me hear things I wasn't hearing before? No, absolutely not. But what it did was clean everything up. And until you hear what it can be, it's really hard to describe to somebody exactly what I'm talking about, but I'll try to here. Dialogue, I'm running the same scene here I did my test on. I bet, believe me, I've heard and seen this scene for about an hour today. <laughs> I know exactly what it sounds like. So the dialogue, everything has been pushed more forward. It was a nice front sound stage before, but it had reflections. It had just mess. It wasn't as focused. And now it is on a single plane up front. Every sound is coming from the screen, from the front sound stage. I am absolutely amazed at how these things are just sucking up sound like a freaking audio black hole. I really don't know how a little bit of insulation and wool does that, but it does. That's all I can say. I was worried about this blank wall back here. No worries whatsoever. When I'm playing the movie, I can turn my head sideways so that this ear is getting direct sound and this ear is direct to the wall and there is nothing coming from the wall. It's like I have one headphone on and one not. They are doing their job, it is absolutely amazing. So there was so much sound just bouncing around this back wall from everywhere. These took care of it. I can't recommend this enough. Anyway, hopefully this test clip is gonna kind of show you guys. It obviously isn't gonna show this directionality, but what I'm hoping is that the audio clip will help show the difference with and without reflections and the kind of clarity that I'm talking about that these things give. That is very dramatic. So whether or not you get art prints or the much less expensive solid print panels, highly recommend it. On to the clip. Does mother know you wear as her drapes? This is beyond you, metal man. Loki will face as guardian justice. He gives up the cube, he's all yours. Until then, stay out of the way. Does mother know you wear as her drapes? This is beyond you, metal man. Loki will face as guardian justice. He gives up the cube, he's all yours. Until then, stay out of the way. Oh, 
Sheriff Constantine. How about that? Okay, so one last thing. I'm editing the video right now. I'm going through all the clips of the untreated versus the treated. And I found a very clear as a bell example of what this does. So here are two clips. This is the untreated clip. This is treated. This spot right here, this little peak, this is a spot where Thor's hammer is returning to his hand and it makes a wing kind of noise. Look at the difference in the shape of that peak, how ragged it is and how wide compared to it here treated. Very clear and listen to the sound difference between the two, here's untreated you'll hear the ring much clearer in the treated version. Here's untreated. Here's treated. That's it. I mean, I can't explain it any better than that. That's how everything got cleaned up. And I see the story here in the waveforms, pattern after pattern. It's just, Amazing what a difference it makes. Anyway, that's it guys. Hope it helps somebody. I highly recommend Room treatment in general, but these acoustic panels uh, the company two thumbs up excellent service spot-on product um, It's high cost, but it works. See you next time